Ladies and gentlemen, historically traditions dictate that the place of women is at home, in charge of housework and child care. Being in a society with strong patriarchal roots, even the Swiss tradition also placed women under the authority of their fathers and their husbands. Unfortunately, this remains for many of our countries, including Mongolia. Women in Switzerland were not granted the right to vote until 1971. However, the status of Swiss women has improved in recent years. Fifty years after getting the right to vote, now women are better represented in the Swiss Parliament than ever. Several societal and political factors led to this success, such as the Me Too movement and organized women protests. Today, the gender composition improved to 42% of women in the Swiss Parliament. The political empowerment of women is a societal process crucial to sustainable development. Women still have less influence than men on decisions made in politics, the economy, in society, and at home. Large gender disparities persist in the political participation. The reason among us are deeply rooted social prejudices, skills, and political network. As a part of the Swiss government, the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation promotes the political empowerment of women as a priority under the agenda of decentralization and local governance. In order to remove structural, systemic, and cultural barriers for women, political empowerment, we need to cooperate in a complex way, change laws, habits, and mindsets. It's really a matter of being proactive at every level, the government, civil society organization, men and women of each of us. Ladies and gentlemen, we call for unity of our voices and efforts. We call for the elimination of policies and social cultural norms and practices that perpetuate gender-based discrimination and harmful gender stereotypes within key political parties and media organizations. Thank you for your support.